So it's been a while between drinks for the captain's project boat, the 445F. We are back to the bare bones now. I've stopped taking things out of this boat at last, and now we're gonna put some stuff back in. Eric and Wally, they've assured me this is gonna be white pointer-like quality, commercial grade from the inside out. So let's see what the boys have got in store. What we've put into the, to the, the bottom section of this boat is we put two lots of 800 gram woven rovings in it, they were overlapped at the keel. Then we put another um, 800 gram over the keel and then a final gun pass on it. So basically it's probably now uh, double the thickness of the original laminate. As I said, they were really light in them days, there was nothing to them. So this thing's basically a bit like me transom's bulletproof now. When we put the, the 800 gram woven rovings into it, they're a metre wide, so on a boat like this, they fit in fairly neatly, so we overlap them into the keel. It doubles the thickness of the keel. It's the area that gets hammered the most, running up the beach. So um, it, it tends just to stiffen them up. All the overlaps, we try, even on my bigger boats, we try to overlap them into the keels, and it just gives you, um, yeah, they're more durable, a lot more strength in them. We roll it out to take all the air out of it. Uh, boat Builder's Nightmare is a boat that's full of air bubbles, you see it occasionally here, yeah, not a good practice. So spend the time and effort on it, do it right the first time. A lot of, a lot of small boats don't have woven ravings in them, but um, if you want strength, that's what we put in them. There is a process in it, we cut everything um, to fit the boat to start with, so there's no messing around, you don't get a lot of time. We'll put a gun pass in, and then when the ravings are going in, they're already, well, you probably seen earlier, he was cutting them to fit the boat. Um, so they're all cut to size, you roll them out, they're, they're a perfect fit. We'll roll it out, you wet it out, you wet it out with a gun, you, you roll the rovings out to take all the air out of it and then eventually there's another gun pass over the top of it. For all the white porter owners out there that have put a deposit on their boat and are waiting for their boat to be built, thinking that the captain's 445 project boat is holding up the works, I can assure you it's not us. Eric, 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 he's out hunting, he's out cruising the country somewhere, we can't find him, we came down to work on the boat and he's not here, so don't blame the captain. The next step is after these stringers are glassed in, as I said, the stringers are glassed in, the layup the glass to fix the stringers is the same as what the stringers are themselves. So it all becomes one and um, at the end of the day they're there forever. You won't be replacing these stringers in the near future, maybe in 80 years time. You wanted to spend the money, this is the way to go, not to put timber back in the things. Again, you know, timber stringers, you're just starting off the same as they did 30 years ago. They're fine, timber stringers are fine if they're done right, if they're glassed, if they're encapsulated and if you don't drill any holes through them. Most of the time, they'll put them in, glass them all in, then they'll drill bung holes through them, and you can't re-glass that, and eventually the water just wicks right through the boat. With these things, you can do anything you like. You can drill 20 holes through this. What we've done now, we've just fitted the new floor into this thing. The floor itself is out of 13 mil thermalite. It's been glassed underneath. Um, we've bogged it in, screwed it into the fiberglass stringer system that we fitted into the boat. It's glassed on top as well. We fitted a 19mm casting deck in the front, thermalite casting deck. When the floor goes in, to finish the edges off, it's been bogged in, as you've um, filmed, and that just gives us a nice service to glass it in and tidies it all up. The filler and pickup sticks through the floor. It's not a good practice to glass the filler um, straight into the floor. It can fracture the, the pipes, crack around the welds. So um, we will basic glass it in but come up a bit higher so it's got a bit of room to move. To modify something like this, even if you, you buy one of these things reasonably cheap, to do what we've done, it's, it's more expensive than having one of my Super Hornets built. 
it's quite involved. You're basically starting from nothing. We took this thing right back, as you said, originally. Basically, we had the, the gel coat left. So this is a full rebuild, and um, yeah, I suggest anyone that's looking for something like this, a lot easier to contact me and I'll build you a new one than go to all the dramas, tear and anguish to turn one of these things into something like I already built. This is probably the best 445 that's ever been built now. 